Welcome to my channel, and today I will be showing you a sign that I will be creating using Dollar Tree stuff. Um, this sign wasn't too bad, so okay. The, I will be using this, and it came from the Dollar Tree. It's a sign, some wood letters, and some Jago blocks, tumblers, blocks. Um, some Waverly chalk paint, white and elephant gray. Also, these are little teeny um, hangers, screw-in hangers that I got from Amazon. I'll stay put the link below as well. I need to use a piece of paper. Here's some of the tools. Um, this is a beading awl as well as a screw if you don't have a beading awl. Pair of scissors, pencil, um, some cutters, some wire cutters, and the pliers of your choice. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, yeah, some paint, paint brushes and whatever. Oh, and some glue. Your, Glue of your choice. I like that wood bond, which was from um, Hobby Lobby. So I got the sign off. I used the goof gone or goof gone, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the sign. But guess what? I forgot to take off the paper where it says bless our home. So I just started painting on top of it, not really thinking about it until later on. Then I started realizing, oh, I should have took it off, but it is what it is. So we're just going to move on with this project. I think the longest part of this project was waiting the paint to dry. And I tend to put it on thick, so most of the time I have to wait overnight. And you'll also see I'll start with wearing gloves, and then by the end I'm like, nah, no gloves. So... This, I'm painting these letters. These letters, I'm using the Waverly Paint Elephant Gray, which I got from Walmart, of course. And I'm going to paint every single one of these letters. My sign is going to say birthdays, birthdays, be basically the months. And you'll see this later on when you see what's going on. So, anyway, I tried to speed this up as much as possible, but you only can speed it up but so fast. I set these aside, painted another project, and waited, and now I'm going to measure it. Let me put this on. I marked each one two inches from each side. Then I took... The measurements between the two and found the middle of the sign so therefore I could put some of the letters down and I'm slowly putting the letters down and looking at it trying to figure the best I didn't do any more measurements after that true me measurement I just put it by eye, see what I thought it looked like. Then I decided I wanted to go ahead and, well, I'm still straightening it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark off like part of it with a pencil. So therefore I can take it off and slowly glue it back on the way I want it. So I started in the middle and glued, and I realized my glue wasn't working very good. See, now you can see I don't have gloves on. So I was like done with the gloves. Actually, I left the gloves downstairs, and I was upstairs, and I didn't feel like going back upstairs, downstairs to get my gloves. So, and I'm just putting the glue on this birthday sign. And 
just making sure it's all straightened up. Trying to make it look pretty using. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, the letters aren't the greatest from the Dollar Tree, but like it said, you get what you pay for. So I think it's a little bit better than what you get what you pay for. So anyway, so the next step I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a border all the way around this sign using the tumblers, the jingle blocks, whatever you call it. I'm going to be using a total of, I believe, 20 going around. And it pretty much fits pretty well, except there may be like a small gap at the end. But if you get the right exact ones, it should be fine. So here I'm just gluing all the pieces on. Trying to make sure everything looks good. Yeah, I should have fast forwarded this a little bit, but, but I figured we'd just watch and see how it went. Let you guys watch and see what was going on when I'm doing it. I think you only had this at four times the speed, so. And I tried to get some of the paint up, not the paint, but the glue. But then I said, well, it's going to dry pretty much clear anyway, I believe. I'm trying to straighten everything up. And try not to get it to stick to that paper. I don't know how, if you ever have glue stick to papers, it's a heck of a mess. So anyway, oh, while we're watching this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please like it as well. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel up. So please don't, if you like my videos, I'll be doing a few other ones. I'll be trying to do videos about. I'm going to say once a week, but probably more than once a week. But I'm going to start at a goal as creating a video once a week. Then I'm going to move up from there. Okay, so now it is done and we are about to use the elephant chalk paint and paint the gray. The, jing the Jingle Blocks gray. But I did forget to paint behind Jingle Blocks, the back of the Jingle Blocks, which I probably would do that off camera because y'all don't really need me to see me paint the back side of the sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now we're about to use these hooks, and I painted all the Jenga blocks white, and now I'm going to show you how I try to figure out the middle of the block. So basically what I did was I went ahead and created a piece, folded the piece of paper in half, and then half again, long ways in width and height to come up with the even middle of the block. I'll get a better closer up in just a minute to show you exactly what I'm, why I did that. Trying to get the middle of it. Just make a dot so a dot shows up. Sorry about the fingers, they're kind of crappy looking. These I got from Amazon. They're eye hooks. Eye hooks? 
Yeah, I hope I believe that's what they're called. I have to look it up. I'll put the link below of Amazon where I got it from. So basically, I just pushed, punched a hole, and I just, the wood wasn't very hard, so I just basically screwed in, screwed it in. See so here, I'm showing you how that I'm using a screw, just to. Put the hole in. No, you didn't see me. I cut off part of it. Let's see. You can see I just cut off the bottom part, which I'll show you later on exactly how I did it on a diagram on the bottom of the page, I believe. I don't remember if I cut that out or I didn't. I don't think I did, but just because, just I thought I did, but I, I may not have. Now I'm showing you how to put a couple more together, just in case you didn't miss, you missed that. The few other ones I did. I had to paint these boxes twice. So here's, here's my diagram. You can see and where I snip it off. Yeah, I'm showing you exactly where I snip it. And now I'm coming back and I'm doing another one. Here's an alternative. Uh, you could get them at the Dollar Tree as an alternative of, for this project of the blocks. Now I'm showing you again where to cut and again where to cut. So I guess you couldn't, I guess I was figuring you couldn't see it the first or second, so I had to do it three times. So I just wanted to make sure y'all could see. On my screen, it wasn't showing very well that you could see. But then when I went to go edit the video, the first one was plenty good. So, and I didn't want to get rid of that, per se. Yep, just cutting it up, cutting them up. Yeah, showing you. So. You see how they lay. You can see how they're cut up and how they lay. Now, I'm still showing you. If it's that's the hole is too big, I'm going to go ahead and use my glue and I'm going to pretty much glue it in. And it holds fine. So just a FYI in case you're like, I get these in, I, my hole is too big. And I just went ahead and just stick it in there and then put it aside. Yeah, I'm gonna put it aside. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I measured. So basically I messed up on the measurements so I'm going to tell you how I measured. The first measurement would be one inch from the far side. Then every one was one point one one and a quarter, sorry, all the way down until the last one is one inch from the right side of the um sign, the wood sign. Okay, so now I'm going to show you that I'm marking them and then I'm taking the marker and making them darker because I did this a few times and I boo boo. So I'm just marking the ones I know to use. Now I'm going to take my beading awl or the screw, whatever you have, and I'm going to be 
basically taking the, the eye hook and screwing it into the wood. It's basically the Jenga blocks. So, as you can see here. I'm only going to show you how to do a few of them. Okay, but we, you're going to need to do a total of 13 of them. One for each month, and then an extra one for hanging extra ones for further along down the line. I think this is the last one I'm going to show you, and then we will move on to the next section of it. So, basically the next section, section is the blocks that I had painted, and I had used my silhouette and used the font called the Skinny, and... Basically, what I did was just print it off my silhouette and put them on these blocks. And then I put a layer of Mod Podge over top to make sure they didn't, wouldn't come off of the blocks uh, over time. So, I didn't know how to show you how to do that in this process. So, I decided maybe later on I'll show you how to use the silhouette since this was actually the first time I had ever used the silhouette using the vinyl. So I figured it wouldn't be great to show you something I had just learned how to do. So, a sign. I did use, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said, I did use the skinny font. And I don't remember what size it was. So, I'll have to check that out, and I'll put it in the description below. And here I'm just showing you how it hooks together. How it would lay and hooks together for the project. I think this project turned out well. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.